Hello everyone! Welcome to the first episode for a Goblin playthrough here of Warhammer Total War. Um, I'm more of a multiplayer when it comes to Total War Warhammer, but I like Goblins a lot, so I decided to play a little bit of the single player campaign here. So my personal goal, because I don't really have much time to do this campaign because of all of the games coming out at the time of this recording, so my personal goal is going to be trying to just capture Carrick 8 Peaks. That's my personal victory. If I have more time after that, then we can go on and try and conquer the world, but just expect this campaign to stop whenever I actually get Carrick 8 Peaks, maybe a little bit after that. So let's jump in here. We got Scarsnick as our hero, or sorry, our lord. We start with the Goblin Big Boss Hero. We have some unique skills and improved Goblin units. Unique building chain available at Carrick A Peaks that gives us access to orcs. Our unit and recruitment cost is minus 40% for goblin units. And then this is pretty cool. Hero actually costs minus 50% and receive 100% experience, which promotes us using our goblin heroes offensively, I guess. Let's jump in. And I'm fully expecting to hear that advisor dude who's apparently all over this world giving us advice on what to do. Try to take Carrick Eight Peaks, my lord. That's not how he sounds at all. From your redemption, Karak Asgaraz, you have plotted your return to the Eight Peaks, stolen by filthy, perfidious greenskin rebels. The road back to the peaks will not be simple. You must head east into Empire territory. Humans have no love for greenskins, so you must fight tooth and nail to overcome them. Past the Empire, both the border princes and the dwarfs will attempt to hamper you further, but you must destroy all in your path. To the south, in Karak Izor, the foul Belagar Iron Hammer has aspirations to reclaim his ancestral home. The eight Does peaks he? are yours, Skarsnik. Do not relent until the threat is dealt with, and they are back under your control. Your enemies are belligerent and won't necessarily cow down to your indomitable will. They need to mm. be tamed, broken, or annihilated. You have overthrown rebellions before, and will do so again. All those who oppose you will face your rage, and then the hunger of Gobbler, of course. Destroy and devour all those who stand against you. Okay. Occupy, loot, raise, or sack two different settlements. Alright. How they play. Carrick 8 Peaks, the very core of this campaign, must be conquered. Taking note of the game's effects will uh, below will aid you. These are just what they show you at the um, start screen. Okay. So, they say that we should head east. Now, we cannot capture human settlements unless that was changed at some point that I missed. So they don't say we should go south to actually take out these dwarves and conquer the settlements. Interesting. And since the goblins cost and upkeep 40% less, it, I guess it kind of promotes a marauder kind of playstyle where you just tear through the human lands, raising and sacking as you will, just trying to get down all the way over... Jeez, all the way, all the way over here. Where are they? To like here, I think. Is this where Car Yeah. So this is where Carrick A Peaks are. Whoo! All right, that's that's kind of interesting, I guess. Let's do it that way then. We'll do what they said. So we are going to be going. Hmm. Well, we're going to try and take out Easy City. So we'll probably hit Weisenberg and then head across the mountains. It's kind of what I want to do. But before we leave totally, let's at least have one wave of recruitment that's not going to cost us more because of global. So we'll just recruit some of these gabos. Over here, we have an obedience problem of minus eight. Since we don't own Carrick Eight Peaks, it's a minus two to all provinces that we control. Nasty Skulkers are pretty cool. But the armor piercing is not really going to be needed as soon against the humans, although goblin archers are pretty cool too. Pumping out goblin big bosses would be pretty sweet. The boss tent will help with the obedience problems. But the boss tent also can upgrade to a tier 4, which this settlement cannot do. Hmm. 
Well, so can this building, too. This... Oh, man. Goblin Wolf Riders will actually be pretty good against humans to deal with their um, crossbowmen. But how do I deal with the obedience problems, then? If I go with the Wolf Riders, we're going to have to recruit another Lord and give them a bunch of Gabos to sit here and deal with the obedience issue. Gabos do cost cheaper, so we either go with that or we build the boss tent. I don't think we'll actually get another Goblin Big Boss from this boss tent because we already have one, so this probably will take the slot. Oh, man, that's tough. I really want Wolf Riders. What we, we could also do is build the Wolf Den now. It's 1,500. Recruit some Goblin Wolf Riders and then just destroy it and replace it later. Let's also get the Brawling Grounds. Well, that's two turns. Hmm. The Goblin Archers I'm not as concerned with as I am with the Wolf Riders. We'll hold off on that. You are going to go down here. And we're just going to cause a ruckus with the human uh, humans here. Let's see. Goblin Workshop. Has this changed? Squig riding seems new, probably. Unlocks recruitment of Squig Hopper. How do we do this, anyway? Oh, we need... Do we need that one building? Hold on. There was a building you needed. Was it this? Goblin Tinkerer Bench. A tier 3. Before we can even start um, doing... That stuff. Right. I forgot that was a green skin thing. Ah, what the hell? We're upgrading both at the same time. Sure. Let's check out diplomacy. Do we know of any Relations other... with foreign powers, maybe? Yeah. Any other tribes? No. I want to try and form a... What do they call it with the green skins? You know, like a unification... I, I don't remember what it's called. What? But we don't know any tribes, so let's just go. Those fickle winds of magic. Yeah, let's give it a shot. I don't even think I'm going to be attacking Nalm, but... We just got two and a half levels off that. Holy crap. They were not kidding when they said you have increased experience. Let's grab... Assassin? Dude, that's huge. You need me. Scars, Nick, we are going to move... Do we need to do the underway? We need to do the underway. Because I don't plan on actually attacking Nawn itself, because it's going to have the walls, although they are on well, their damage now. What's the garrison like here? Sigma forbids this. Hmm. So they have an army on top of, let's see, spearmen, swordsmen, two corollers. I refuse. Two additional corollers and a mortar. We can maybe draw out their army by attacking Weisenberg. You know what? Also, let's recruit a lord. Charismatic. Plus six leadership for goblins is not bad. That's actually kind of huge. But I, this person's going to probably sit here. You know, yeah, we're just going to get dra Drog. Drog, I guess? Yeah. Recruit. Get in there. And you're going to recruit some Gabos. So we can deal with the obedience issue here. That does take away most of our money, but that's okay. We'll get some because we're probably going to attack Weisenberg and raise it. No, we're going to sack it. We're definitely going to sack it. Now, we're not a true horde race, even though I'm going to be playing this kind of like one because we do still have a building we need. Hello, Emperor. What can we do down here? It has no walls. So we definitely want to try and do an action each turn. So what I will do... Ah, no. We'll just, yeah, we'll just damage walls. Failure! But we still leveled up, though. Assassin. Done. This army is more than enough to take out Weisenberg. Can we get there just on foot? Sounds like a good idea. Fair work. 
We have an Arachnorok, so like, it's totally okay. They're at war with the Skull Tickers? Okay, well you're about to be at war with the Crooked Moon Tribe too. I want to tear the sh up. What is this? Scarsnick's Bad Moon Banner enables unbreakable melee attack, melee defense, and causes fear. Holy crap. If we put that on a Goblin Wolf Rider, they kind of become a quasi renowned unit, the Moon Takers, Moon Talkers, because they also cause fear. We don't have one yet, but uh, this is a pretty cool banner. For right now, we'll put it on. Uh, one of these is a Fanatic, aren't they? We're going to put it on the Fanatic. Yeah. Ever want to fight? Like, this Arachnorok alone can probably destroy this garrison. Starting with an Arachnorok is so huge. It's so huge. Spearmen do have a bonus versus large, but still most of their damage is, is just normal, um, normal weapon damage. And a lot of that is blocked by the 120 armor of the Arachnorok. So that's not going to be a real problem. What we're going to do is, we are going to set up some ambushes. It's a good chance that the humans are just going to kind of sit still. Hold on. I need a little bit more control. That's better. Okay. So we're going to set our Night Goblins into an ambushing spot to attack them from the rear, I think. Warlord of Eight Pikes! Start battle. Yeah, they're just going to sit there. So we are going to get these goblins in position to attack their uh, crossbowmen. Because when we start to advance on them, they're going to, of course, pull their infantry uh, forward. don't know the exact range of their spotting. I think this is going to be okay. And you know what? Just go in there. I, I'm really out... Or like overthinking this. I just want to do it because I ha I can because we're skulking and that's just awesome. We'll let the Arachnorok uh, weather a lot of the damage. Uh, we want... I guess the most damage they're going to do is against these Corollers. Or Crosswomen. I keep calling them Corollers. So we'll let the enemy kind of surround the Arachnorok, and then we're just going to murder them. And we're going to launch the loons into that swordman unit. And charge. Run! You friends, run! Let's increase their speed, catch those corollers. And murdered. Wow. We as Gabos. Boom. Hurrah. 
Okay, we took seven losses. Not bad. Murdered 255 of them. Our Ragnarok took a little bit of hit point damage, but that's okay. No real loss there. Man, those Fanatics got 60 kills in that short amount of time. They're nasty, man. Those loons, now that you can cast them yourself, God, the damage they can do. And you get three of them. All right, got some money. Oh, we're going to sack the heck out of this. Any cover from sacking it? Sodom is plus six? Yeah, I'll take it. What? What? And then we're probably going to raise it and then move on. Because we do not want this faction to become strong enough so they can actually attack uh, Karak Asgaraz. Alright, what do we have here? Leadership increased during subterranean battles. Melee attack plus 7 for goblin and night goblin units. Oh my god. Ammunition, weapon strength for melee infantry units. Most troglodytes. Evasion chance when using underway. Uh, yeah, intimidating presence. Definitely. Available rank 4. Enables poison attack in the entire Lord's army. Oh. Oh my god. We can just get basic Gabo Spearmen with poison attacks. Everything has poison attacks. Including Goblin Archers? Does that work on Goblin Archers? Oh. That's insane. Dude, that is insane. Plus 16 leadership. Spider the Big Bad Moon. You have seen that at the multiplayer. You can get a wah. Fighting this plus two when in foreign territory. That's kind of cool. Men attack for squigs. Ammunition for artillery. Goblin and night goblin units increase another melee attack. So that is going to be on top of the gabos. Jesus. And then aura size. Income from sacking settlements actually might be a bad thing. Hmm. Hmm. There are some cool abilities here. His actual personal upgrade path is kind of just mad. It's pretty standard. But some of these other things are pretty sweet. Okay, so... Right, I can't actually raise until next turn. Okay, we will hang out there. Did I do attack with you? Let's assassinate Eben von Leibwitz. I'll take him out, boss. I guess next turn. I did do something this turn. <gasps> what the? F Already, I had to deal with these. Oh my god! Angren starting with four ethereal lords. Oh, worse. And they're gonna be coming for me. 5% chance. I'm Trixie. You're the worst. Stick him. Nice. Whoa, regiment renown already. And the moon howlers. Sweet. I Okay, uh, so I have to go into the rating stance to get access to the global recruitment, but I can't do that. Right, man. Let's do it. I can't do much of anything, but I am going to try and march as far as I can. We want to. Where do we want to go to? I guess just further over here. Doppler's angry. Go in. One. Man, I hate that I already have to deal with it. Like, agents are some of the most annoying thing in this game. <laughs> I have to deal with it already. You are going what? to... What? Get no, no, no. Going. What? They won't be the feet. No, we eat. failed. And I can't even kill you. My success chance is too low. 
Oh, God. Your prestige grows, my lord. Yeah, it does. Use Shh. Quiet now, advisor. Oh, boy. Be at war with the following faction. We'll get 500 gold and conflict with men. Um... Sure. Deliver your missive and then get from my presence. Okay. Here's my missive. There we go. Oh god. The dwarves are coming. Ready for bossing. Game it done. I may give you the unit of renown. Just because you need reinforcements. And these are also armor piercing, which would be more effective versus dwarves. I'm gonna give the moon howlers to um, you, though. I'm a schemer. Okay, what? That place is already gone. I was gonna go down there for money. No. Ah, uh, huh. I mean, like we could go back up and deal with the, like, actually attack these guys. But that's not the direction of our goal. So we're going to do this and try to get away from this damn thing. Moving. Me. Meanwhile, you are going to level up. Stop. There it is. Are we going to actually level up from that? There we go. Yeah, two levels. Cool. All right, so finish Assassin, and then... I may not even play the campaign long enough for this to become a thing with the Chaos Corruption. But out of these three options for an offensive Goblin Big Boss... Uh, I mean, I guess Slap by more. Uh, no, Ginks, I may not even play that long. Let's do Inspector. Right, so I really need to go into a rating stance so that we can get some more units over here. Great and powerful war boss. Wait a minute, are you not? You're in the city, right? I didn't realize that would change your stance in the city. I never realized that before. These doors want to have uh, some fun, huh? Night Gobbo War Boss. Hmm. Hmm. I got plans. All right, let's go to raiding. Escape worthy of Skarsnik. And we want. Can we only get units of renown in our own territory? Oh. We can't globally recruit those. We're going to get a nasty skulker because a unit with skulk is pretty good. Not, We don't really need the armor piercing here, but it's still, we, it can be useful. We're definitely going to grab... Hmm. We'll grab a Wolfrider Archer. At rank 4, if we actually get poison attacks on everything, including our missile damage, then having a very mobile poison attacker is going to be really good. But we do need to wait two turns. That's okay. We are healing currently. We are getting some money, so I'm not really upset about that. You need to come back and deal with this guy. Who we apparently cannot assassinate. And only a 15% chance of a positive income. What? Hmm, that's not, that's not high enough. I, I really want to level this guy up. I need easier. Uh, 
Oh, right, because we were exhausted. I forgot about that mechanic. Because we assassinated. Right. Okay, well, we'll still give this a shot. Alright, that's okay. We still leveled up. It's pretty cheap to do it. I'm not upset. So, I guess we sh might as well get the Moon Howlers here. And we're already using the global recruitment, which is totally fine. We need All right, then. another nasty I'll stalker. Then we'll grab another archer. Actually, we'll grab two archers here. And we'll see if these doors want to tussle. We have the um, Wolf Riders needed to take out the Grudge Throwers. So that's okay. Dwarf Warriors, we can do nasty combos with the Skulker. Although, I would like to have some poison damage here. But I think we're going to be fine. I think. Especially since we also have some sort of garrison. What garrison do we have? Oh, yeah. Hey, we got a Forest Goblin Spider Rider. We do have poison. Nice. Okay. That is fine. Lots of plans. Oh god. Clan Angrand. Raise or sack Karak Norn, huh? It is pretty weak, but uh, with this army hanging around, that's going to be not the easiest thing to do. Now you're going to go back over here, and we're going to try to block. Because I don't want to deal with that exhaustion. Unless, does block give exhaustion too? Does anything give exhaustion? Stop. Infiltrator, damage walls, two additional walls, breach. That's cool. You are still recruiting, so that's that. Who's the boss? Obedience is at plus seven, which is really good. Our income is not that great. How many Wolfriders am I getting here? I got schemes. Just one and then the archer. After this, I think I want to recruit at least one more wolf rider, and then I'm going to tear down the wolf camp and then replace it with something else. And Drolog here. Do you take me for a wazak? <laughs> you need help. You are a wazik. No, I will not shame my clan. Can we take you out in the open? Come well, nasty. Dwarf infantry is better than Gabos. The nasty skulkers could turn the tide. The problem is they need to be in combat that is winning, so they can keep proccing their special ability. The moon howlers and the Mulgrabs definitely can help. Hmm. Oh, well, I think we get another this. wolf rider for you. A third archer and another goblin. And then with this makeup, I think I'll be pretty confident in taking out their army out in the open. Okay, we're at minus 71. Me, Man, even with 243 rating? Interesting. So their army backed off, which is totally fine. Warpost what we're going to do here is use the Underway. All right, all right. Go into their territory, and we're going to start raiding. That's going to probably drop our obedience here, but it's at minus 9. That's okay. Plotting and scheming. Maybe we just deal with the cav we have right now. Impossible. What? You need me. Now, we're getting a lot of money here. I think I am going to continue to recruit. I, I want at least one more of these. We get another skulking unit. Yeah, we'll get another skulking unit. We have a lot of money in the bank, so I'm not too concerned. And then maybe... One more archer. 
And hopefully we get some decent amount of money ready with Drog. Hopefully we also pull up their army over here. We can take them out in the open and then maybe take care of Norn. Maybe. Did I forget to use my... I think I forgot to use my hero. Rival power comes to party. You're going to pay me money? Sure. Thank you for my temporary buff with humans. Is that still on, by the way? Four turns. Okay. Who needs killing? We need one more here. What you want? We're gonna start raiding here. Puts us in the I positive. I got plans. We tear down that building next turn and go from there. Our hero. <laughs> I am the boss. Level 9 already. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Enemy hero action success chance is pretty cool. Again, I may not play long enough for that to be a, even a factor. Mm. Mm hmm. Misdirector. I will take it. And then after we get what we want in this tree, then we'll um, give them the giant wolf, the giant spider, and all this other cool stuff up here. So we need one more turn. Recruiting here. We're raiding there. Very good. I do have to kind of keep an eye on my obedience. This whole leveling up mechanic is great. I think I'm going to build the boss tent. Again, I don't think we're going to get another um, Goblin Big Boss with that unlock. Let's tear this down right now. But it will lead us to a time where we can at some point. You're only level one, like assassinating you is Boss? kind of pointless. Oh, also block it though. What you want? And get another free level off of you, jeez. Misdirector, yeah, misdirector again. That increased experience oh, well, gain for hero no, actions he... are really good. Supreme ruler of eight pigs. All right, buddy, you. Like, that's not bad. But, um... Plus 12 attack and then 15% charge bonus? That's going to be really good for the Skulkers. They have a decent charge bonus as it is. What's level 3? 20% attack. Yeah, just keep grabbing this. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Sorry. Um, or rank 4. Dripping tips is much better. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think we want that more. All right, so are these po- Oh my god, goblin archers are poison. You turn them into night goblins. You turn everything into night goblins. Everything has poison attacks. That is... Even the nasty skulkers. And like, the nasty skulkers will have poison if this procs, but only if they're winning in melee. But now they have poison at all times anyway. And their armor piercer. Oh my god, that is so huge. That is so huge. The skulkers become better night goblins. But the Fanatics are so cool because they have the Spinning Loons. Let's see. What do the Night Goblins now have over Skulkers? Not? I guess the melee defense. Right? Melee defense and speed? Man, that's just... That's insane. Oh no, it's weapon strength and speed. Okay, anyway. That's a huge buff. I can't believe you get that at level 4. Skarsnik. That's so good. By Sigma, no! By Sigma, no! You kind of left your city open, buddy. And I have an Arachnorok. <laughs> oh, we be sneaky gets. Yeah, declare war. That's fine. Stabby, stabby. Oh my god. Get him. Oh my god. Fight battle. Don't leave your capital when you know there are goblins about.
So we'll just have the Arachnorog tear through a gate. Uh, maybe have some goblins climb the, lo uh, the walls. Or probably send our stalkers, skulkers, over the walls. So we're going to focus our army, I think, on the right side. The army that they can see. And then the plan is to use the units with skulking to go up the left side, climb over the walls, and then um, ambush them. Maybe go up the middle. Because the gatehouse... If they control the gatehouse, then they will see us. But if they leave the gatehouse, then they won't. So we'll see what happens. So yeah, we're going to put our gabos over here because they're going to be climbing the walls. Over here. Over here. Yeah! Arachnorok is going to be front and center going after the door. The goblin wolf rider is going to be hiding in this forest. Actually, why are they not hiding? Can you not hide in a siege battle? Oh, yeah, you can. What's going on here? Because honestly, it'd be best if they were over here. There we go. I guess I just didn't have them in the right position. So when they go over the walls and they can take the gatehouse, then I can run all of our wolf riders into the gates, which is fine. Do you have hide in the forest? You do. All right. You do the same thing. Cool. So the enemy will not see you. Goblin archers will just kind of put over here. Scar snake will be over here. And all of you, you nasty sneaky skulkers, will be over there. That works. Okay. To make you control group one. That's actually don't lock. All right, let's have fun. <laughs> right then. So since they see our army over here, if there is someone over here, they should move hopefully soon. Hopefully. You know what? I don't even think I'm going to attack the walls. Well, maybe. Skarsnik, I don't think is going to be able to climb the walls because of his pets, I would assume. So you're going to go over here. They still own the gatehouse, huh? They don't see us yet. I'm pretty sure they still have a unit here, though, or else they would lose control of the gatehouse. See, the thing is, like, I don't really want to fight these yet. You know what? Yeah, here, we'll just let these... Yeah, go, go shoot them. We'll give them time to go over the walls. Try and at least get out of the tower's range, though. Gates are destroyed. We were going to send at least one goblin unit in here with the Arachnorok. What are these, horsemen? Sword infantry? Oh, man. You poor... Poor people. Alright, we have the tower. It's time to get our ambush force in position. Very soon, we're going to hold the gates. Let's let these goblin archers do their thing. We're going to let Skarsnik and the boys have some fun over here. There's no need to really rush climbing the wall. In fact, just come over here. We'll just go through the main main gate. Go after the leader, Arachnorok. Don't fight the spears. Here's some speed, go. 
We is gobbles. All right, get in here. Hold on. I can't access the. Okay, that's fine. We'll just go from this screen. I need you to be over. Where's the city center? Over here. They probably have units there, but we have enough to take it them out. You're going to be going over there, and then the Skulkers are going to be skulking their way up here, along with the Night Goblin Fanatics. And, yeah. Goblin Archers attack those. You're going to finish off their leader. Skarsnik and the Goblos are going to be holding off the Swordsmen. Who are powered up because Skarsnik is leveled up. So we're finishing out the leader. They should take a morale hit when the leader dies. I actually think they probably already died. Maybe not. Just keep pouring in. That's fine. Oh, hello! Don't attack those. Yep, ride by, ride by. Oh, perfect! Come back and assist the main gates. Warfighter's gonna start popping at the spearmen. That's gonna be fine. Go back to those corollers. You're gonna come over here and assist the main fight, which is already going in our favor. Actually, going behind those spearmen, that's going to be fine. We'll take some friendly damage there, but I just wanted to use them. Boom! Your city is mine. Well, your money is mine. I guess the city is not. Skarsnik, 75 kills. Ooh. And like our goblins are so much powerful. Our basic gobbles with poison attacks are so much stronger against, you know, swordsmen and spearmen now. So huge. Oh yeah. Two in one. Take that money. Now, they could probably force march back into the city, so we may not be able to raise it. Oh, wait, actually, we can block their path. Absolutely not. I wonder how far they can move without force marching. Because if I do this correctly, Who needs killing? we don't even have to attack them, or um, be close enough so that they can attack us. Huh. Am I afraid of them attacking me? I refuse. Pistol leaders could be annoying, but we have wolf riders. I think they're the same speed. Their mainline infantry is probably just swordsmen and spearmen, which we can handle. Ruler of eight peaks. And they can't get around us quite yet. I'm gone. Right then, let's do it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, but that's going to be in the next episode, everybody. It's a pretty solid Who's start the here. Boss? Their dwarf army is way out of position. <laughs> Is like way out of position. They may make a run for Carrick Asgaraz. But out of these two buildings, I would rather have the capital anyway. What's the garrison look like here? Quarrelers, miners, three dwarf warriors, three dwarf quarrelers. 
Stop our war, boss! Hmm. Move in out! We're gonna threaten Carrick Norn and see what they respond with. Yes, boss. But thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll see you next time. Take care.